All right, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and also on YouTube if you're watching this later on over there. Hey, Nefer, Papa Tim, hey, y'all. Um, so we have our first deck today. We have a donation deck Friday here. Uh, just like a couple of days ago, we have all donation decks, and none of these were decks that I built today. So these are all brand new decks, all decks that uh, I'll be playing for the first time. So that's pretty exciting. And so these are all user-submitted decks. So we'll uh, you know, have some fun today. So we got Jeskai Midrange to start with. Um, calling it Jeskai Midrange. also thought about calling this Jeskai Tokens because we have basically every single thing in the deck can make a token, whether it's Tithe Taker, Depose, History of Benalia, Legion War Boss, Heroic Reinforcements, Karn, Tezzeret, Siege King, Commander. You know what? Treasure Map makes treasure tokens. Every single card in the deck that's not a land makes tokens, except for Expansion Explosion. Hmm. Oh, well. So, uh, but it, with that being said, you know, just still kind of going with uh, Jeskai Midrange uh, as the chat here. I think that's probably a better name. I don't know. Uh, Jeskai Tokens, you'd probably think, would be more like Divine Visitation based, maybe. Uh, something like that. Maybe uh, you probably have to play Legion's Landing, maybe for a token, token deck like that. Who knows? But. Anyway, this looks pretty fun. It looks uh, pretty clean. You know, we just have basically, if you don't count Depose, if, we, if we're not counting Depose and Expansion here for a little bit. Yeah, we do have Divine Visitation in the sideboard, right? So that's basically a token deck. But if you don't count these two, we basically have our eight twos between Tithe Taker and Treasure Map. We have our eight threes. We have our eight fours. We have five fives. And so, you know, we're just kind of going down the line. So hope, we're hoping to curve out quite a bit. Um, a lot of these cards, you know, just a lot of these cards are cards that are good whenever, uh, you're ahead and, um, the opponent doesn't have a whole lot of defense, you know, especially war boss and reinforcements. So we're, we're not really wanting to play against like mono white aggro. That's going to get on the battlefield a lot faster and bigger, uh, for example, cause we don't have interaction too much, but. Let's kind of see what we got over in the sideboard. We got negates, which are awesome. Honor Guard for Sultai, Lava Coil, and Tribunal for a little interaction. All right, we got some Liras for uh, aggro and some Niv Mizzets for control. That's going to be a spicy one. Um, you know, all of our mana does either produce blue or red. Um, and we have that Divine Visitation that we'll do something with. So let's see how it goes. Uh, I'm a little worried about only 24 lands with all these fours and fives. You know, like we we really want to hit to five land drops, and we don't have things that draw cards too much. I guess Depose and Treasure Map help with that, but let's see how it goes. Just guy mid range. Start the day. Also, hey Yager. Yeah, we live for 20 minutes, Did got all the decks set up and everything. Oh, that's definitely true, Mike. If we could get to six mana and cast Heroic Reinforcements and then expansion it to copy it. That seems pretty big. Pretty big game. Thanks, BVB. So our opponent is all defense, which is probably good for us because we don't have very much defense. We probably want to play against somebody who's all defense. Um, so that's probably good for us. I guess I'm just going to keep on the draw. It's not a hand that I would, that I necessarily like too much. It's not a very defensive card. All right, our hand got better. We could destroy the Curious Obsession if this works. Alright, so I'm going to go upkeep, tap this thing, draw a card. If this works, we do... It would mean that they don't get to... Okay. 
do it during their upkeep before they can have like three mana and before they draw another card and all that kind of stuff. Uh, if that would have worked, that means they would not have attacked with a creature and Curious Obsession gets gets sacrificed if you don't attack with a creature. That could have been cool. Um, I'm gonna go War Boss. It's more likely that history gets countered. Music went down quite a bit. <laughs> Still like that tower defense play yesterday. Nice. I do like playing against Mono Blue. I think Mono Blue is a good deck. Um, you know, like they they already have this game won, but I think it's an enjoyable deck. So is, is the music just super low right now? Like, is it like the same as normal, basically? I guess that's what I'm asking. But Corn Lover, you think it's... F okay, it's fine. You can hear it and everything. It's kind of the problem of playing these kind of spells, though, that are not good whenever you are behind is the opponent may start out ahead. And Hey, Techstar. Basically using Tezzeret to be able to make a trump blocker for Tempest Gin. Shall we begin? It is the ideal subordinate. Which I guess they didn't care about too much. I don't know exactly what we have in our sideboard. Here for mono blue. Let's see what we got. Lava Coil Negate, Tribunal, Lyra, Niv Mizzet. Niv Mizzet in particular is pretty awesome. We're at one. We cannot kill our opponent. They're at 18. Heroic reinforcements can do a lot of damage. But if we had one more land and could have played Tithe Taker plus reinforcements, we could have attacked for 16 that turn, which is, you know, a crazy amount of damage, but not enough. Alright, so... Karn is not so good here. Um, expansion can copy... Ex expansion can, like, counter negates and stuff. Treasure map's gonna just not be a useful card either. 
We need to get rid of some of these fives. Siege Gang or Tezzeret? Which one's worse? I guess Siege Gang's probably worse. The thing is, like, Siege Gang sacking some goblins could be kind of cool, but... I think I'd rather just have Tezzeret. I don't know. Maybe Siege Gang's better. Just doesn't get to block right away. You have to, like, untap with Siege Gang before you actually do anything. It's kind of rough. I could see playing all these. I don't see anything uh, right away that I need to take out. So I guess I think, I think I'm going to take out a Tezzeret. Because it's not a very strong card. <laughs> yeah, it's we're the ones playing all defense here. Not the opponent. Alright, reasonable hand. Alright, leading with Tithigger so that if our opponent plays Curious Obsession, they won't be able to protect their creature from a Lava Coil. Wow. Well, I need lands. I think I'm just going to cycle this thing. And just do it on my turn to see if I get a land, I can like play it in, into play tapped, I guess. Yeah, I mean, this is just cycling. Wait until their turn's not a big deal of just save one life. But now we get the thing in, in tapped, so that's good. Tithigger, of course, is pretty nice in this matchup, making them... Making those counter spells cost more. Would have rather had a land. The history is not bad. Open no more Tempest Gens. So this is a pretty good trade for our opponent. Tough call of what to do here. I'm planning on just having deploy available. Thought a trickster could could certainly be uh, evident if they didn't have counter magic, and now we get to kind of block our, the storm. Yeah, we get the storm tamer and terramander to stay back. Um, so they have three cards in hand. Of course, I want Lyra to resolve. I think Lyra is the most important thing to resolve. I just have one card in the graveyard for terramander. I'm going to just play around Spell Pierce. At this point they should have enough mana for like their different counter spells, so Tithe Taker's ability isn't that useful. I'm going to I'm going to block Trickster with Tithe Taker and get another 1/1. One, one. Hmm. 
Hey, what's up, Jeff? And the sausage. Hope y'all are having a good day. They just have more lands. So they have one spell available right now. So I, I passed like thinking if our opponent could have tapped out there to grow the Terramander, if they tapped out to grow the Terramander, I was gonna be able to shoot it with explosion. But of course they did not. Day's going good. Yeah, it's been it's been a nice productive day. Um, so I attack, they block a flyer, take six, go to seven, then they can attack and put me down to six, then I play Lyra. Hmm, I don't need to. They put their card on top. So whatever it is, they like it. I probably should just be running out of Lyra even, you know, into like a counter spell and then cuz I have a backup Lyra. All right, this should probably take out the Storm Tamer. We'll see if we eat the spell from their hand, though. Hmm. It did not. Take out the Storm Tamer, that is. Um, I hope they have Wizards of Tord and not Essence Capture. That's good. This has been a weird game. Um, as you can tell, I've been very patient. Okay. I just want to sacrifice their Storm Tamer. So trade Storm Tamer for 1 1. This is them. This is me gaining a lot of life. And now I can swing back and uh, 
not have to worry about I do you really think you can losing a race, but Tezzeret's perfect. Okay, we're going to game three. Didn't show our opponent uh, Niv Mizzet, thankfully. I didn't get to see that one. <laughs> hey, it's a potness. A little bit of a slow day here in the chat so far, but we're just starting off. Alright, here we go. The all-important game three. This is a keep, but... We don't have any removal for if they have turn 2 Curious Obsession. I don't have a good answer to turn 2 Curious Obsession at all. So I just gotta hope they don't have that. Please don't have it. Hey, James, getting that Harry's Razor. Thank you so much, James. I do appreciate that. Um. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. So that gets us to eight Harry's referrals. Sorry, you can get a Harry's razor for only three dollars whenever you. Uh, I'm just cycling this thing, basically. Only three bucks. Um. If you sign it, it's usually thirteen dollars to get their starter set. And if you sign up for, um, I'll try this. If you sign up for a subscription, you get five dollars off to make it eight dollars. Then, if you use my referral link and use the coupon code Todd Stevens MTG, you get another five dollars off. And so it's only three bucks, free shipping to U.S., Canada, and U.K. Uh, get yourself a, a good quality razor and some shaving cream. Very good deal. We've had eight people sign up so far. Alright, time to get some more bosses out here. We're going to race te a Tempest Gen. Yeah, no problem, James. Yeah, thank you. Also, for signing up, if you if you choose to, you can get a uh, donation deck for only ten dollars. If you do, also spend the three bucks to get a razor, so you also get half price off of a donation deck if you choose. Up to you there. All right. Do not want to see essence capture. Please just be normal counter spell. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, you can think about the donation deck if you ever uh, want to do that. You can. Ugh. That was the that's a, a counter spell we can't copy with expansion. I could I could have used the expansion to. Copy that and counter my own war boss and keep them from getting their uh, trigger. Or like basically keep them from getting the counter and put the counter on my war boss. But at that point we're only we're just looking at like uh, war boss is getting a counter and theirs is not for an entire card. That's not really worth it for an entire card. We can copy either one. Doesn't really matter. Good hand, opponent. 
Can we draw a Niv Mizzet, please? I mean, we need to draw Lyra, really. We need to draw Lyra. That's bad for us. All right. Take out the time machine and keep us down to keep us at one. They attack out. Ugh. Could he use use expansion now? Expansion would have been my best draw step. I don't think I can do 16. Three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nope. If I would have had expansion and be able to copy that. Yeah, I think we could have. Yeah, I think we could have had lethal if I would have had expansion and been able to copy that. Player four, getting on the Harry's hype train. Thank you so much. Again, just such an amazing deal. Just three bucks for a good quality razor and a shaving cream and everything. Can't recommend it enough. So thank you so much. So if we get to 20 people, we're doing another 12 hour stream there. And we are getting there. We also have Spencer getting some hype. Hey, Spencer. So yeah, if y'all, if for those of y'all sign up for Harry's, if again, anytime you want, if you ever want a donation deck for just ten dollars for half price, you know, it doesn't have to be now. There's no expiration date on that. You know, just ever, just just message me anytime, and I'll get you down. Yeah, donation decks are like what we're playing here. Basically, if you want, if you want your deck played on stream, um, that's what it is. Basically, I play your deck through a league uh, here on stream. Um, you can also, if there's also uh, a, there's a lot of information about donation decks down below as well. If there, if you don't necessarily have a deck that you want to play it on stream, but if there's like a certain deck that you like that I play a lot, you know, maybe like Grixis Discard or uh, Nia Legends or, or anything, if there's any deck like that that you like a lot and you just want to see it played, you can also choose that. You can be like, hey, please play this deck at this time. With donation decks, you get to choose what day you want to see it and first second third or fourth in the lineup whichever like whatever works for you wow growth walker is gonna be tough hey rex good afternoon so yeah it's usually um Hmm. Kind of want to play Karn. It's usually twenty dollars to have your deck played on stream, but you get it for half price there. Yeah, cool. Yeah, no problem, Spencer. Anytime. All right, so I think I want to play Karn and just start ticking up. Yeah, I think I want to play Karn and tick up. Choice. The whole not have removal thing is not so good against Thief of Sanity. But I guess uh, Deploy is pretty nice against Thief of Sanity. That's kind of removal. Hmm. 
doesn't look so good for us. Rex says, I'm playing Grixis Discard it this weekend. I'm wondering what do you stop. think about having a negate over the duress. Duress can't stop the top of their deck when they are empty-handed. I think that's that's definitely reasonable, and uh, and you can have the negate instead of the duress there. The reason why I have duress instead of negate is because it's cheaper to play right before a Nicol Bolas or an Angrath uh, in the late game to protect the Nicol Bolas or Angrath. Um, but it's certainly reasonable if you are expecting them to have the empty hand to um, Nothing is ever truly lost To go with the negate main instead Next turn we can have heroic reinforcements with Expansion. We could do a whole lot of damage next turn. I wonder if I should block this Thief of Sandy or not. How much damage can we actually do? Seven creatures that are all three power or greater. Plus the Tithe Taker. I guess we're attacking for lethal. Then that is kind of all my stuff. I will return. I'm hoping they just play Vivian and tick up. If they play Vivian and tick up, we win. They just randomly play like a Vivian and and tick up. That's what I'm gonna be trying. That's what I'm trying here. No, that gains him life. Why does Wildgrowth Walker have to gain so much life? I can still hit pretty hard. Oh, they have an expansion. Ugh. Hey, Spencer with the tier one sub as well. You're amazing, Spencer. Thank you so much. Thanks for starting off the hype today on stream. Jeff's following you up. Thanks, Jeff. I don't really see a, a great line for us here. We're going to just kill the Steve Sandy and draw two cards. Because now the surprise kill with heroic reinforcements uh, is not going to happen now. Not the worst card to get contempted. Bad thing is, just all of our creatures are one ones, and we don't have any removal. So I'm just never going to kill this wild growth walker. We just have to chump block it forever, but we don't have enough chump blockers. Treasure map seem really out of place. I, mean, I can play a Karn and minus two and play a treasure map, and I have a two-two. What's a two-two gonna do? Just gonna 
Just gonna chump block if they have any removal, I'm dead. I could play a reinforcements and have two one ones to chump block. Our deck can't can't play from behind, and Wild Growth Walker forces you to play from behind. So that's that's certainly a problem. Let's see if we get these honor guards in here. If that can help out. <laughs> oh, thanks, Spencer. Glad you're here every day. Um, enjoying the stream. Yeah, lover, I'm the same. I'm I'm not really sold on this idea. I think I think this could be I think this deck could be good against like Asper Control. Uh, you know, the kind of deck that's just trying to interact with your stuff but not putting out other creatures. But decks that put out creatures we're going to really struggle against. Um I could try this Divine Visitation. Yeah, I'm going to try the Divine Visitation cuz that can steal games. Need Coil and Tribunal. No, Tribunal's not amazing. Our deck's just kind of too slow for reinforcements, basically. Even though reinforcements is one of our best cards. Um, Tithe Taker just kind of sits there on the ground and can't get through a Wild Breath Walker or anything. Yeah, like Heroic Reinforcements is really, really good at ending, at ending games after you've put a bunch of pressure on the opponent. It's a great card at the top of the curve. The heroic reinforcements just kind of in the middle of your curve. Not nearly as good, because after the the one very good turn of attacking the opponent with like your large creatures, then you just have a couple one ones and two one ones are just not very valuable. They're two one one creatures are not worth anything near four mana. And that's kind of the problem with deploy, depose deploy also, which, you know, we're playing a bunch of those. Like, our opponent played a 2-mana 3-2. Two 1-1 two one -one creatures can never get a, through a 2-mana 3-2, for example. And the small 1-1s one like that have a very low impact on the game. Right, but we certainly need to be aggressive. We're not winning a longer game against Ultai. So let's get this reinforcements out there now. Put them down to 10 with the history. Uh, Going to have the third chapter here. Subscribing um, with Twitch Prime. Thank you so much. Second sub of the day. Getting that second month sub in there as well. Thanks for that resub. We had a good turn three and turn four, but the whole eight land thing. See, like, this is the kind of the problem with Karn. It just doesn't... You have to be... Heroic Reinforcements forces you to be really aggressive. Karn is not aggressive whatsoever. Kind of the same with like Treasure Map and things like that. <laughs> yeah, our opponent's playing Sultai Sanity. It's 
So they're at four. Maybe I can finish a game off with like an expansion explosion, like the explosion. I mean, if they just have any more explore creatures, then we just die. But. No, my honor guard. And we're dead. It's a lot of Cry of the Carnariums in the Thief of Sanity deck. Not so sure about that. Our deck didn't help us at all, to be fair. After our opening hand. I'll make use of that laser. So opponent has four spells in hand, and they got some more spells over here. They just hit their fifth land because they, they missed the land drop last turn, so we know they have all gas over there. Yeah, sorry, hey, Doc. I was hoping we were going to play against Control. I think that's where we could have some game. Um, I think the, the decks are just a little too, it's too slow for an aggressive deck, basically. Hmm. And we can get Tribunal or History. The draw will land every single draw step of the game, though. We have drawn a land every single draw step this game. Yeah, we kept four land, history, Karn, and reinforcements. And we have drawn nothing but lands every single turn. So that doesn't help at all. So I think some, so basically our deck's just gonna, our deck's just really underpowered compared to, you know, like those those decks, as you, as you can see there. I think for a deck like this to work... Basically, these cards are just kind of doing different things. Like, War, War Boss Reinforcements... Um, these two cards are only good if you're ahead, and if you're attacking and putting a whole lot of pressure on the opponent. Treasure Map doesn't do that whatsoever. Karn doesn't do that at all, either. These cards just are pulling in completely opposite directions. Um, Depose, Deploy. Depose is a very defensive card. Deploy, while it makes two creatures, uh, talked about four mana for two creatures, is not very valuable. It's it's a very defensive card. So you have, you have some cards that are just really defensive. Even Tezzeret's just a defensive card. This is a very defensive card. And then you have a few cards that are... That are just really offensive with war boss and reinforcements and history. You have a couple of cards in the middle, um, siege gang tithe taker kind of being in the middle. They can kind of go either way. They play defense and offense. Um, so, like that's just a just kind of a, a big problem when you have war boss history reinforcements. You you really want one and two mana spells to to be out ahead of the battlefield. It makes these cards really good. Depose treasure map and stuff don't help you at all with that kind of stuff. So I think so. You just have to go. We just need to be a lot more aggressive if we want to be playing war boss history heroic reinforcements. So you, you want to be playing cards like a Danto Vanguard as a two mana card instead of Depose, um, and so on. Like all the white one mana creatures and and everything like that. Um, Divine Visitation could work in a deck like this. I agree. This divine visitation is so incredibly powerful that this is what could make this would be like the single card that could make 
deploy um, and like the Karn and the Tezzeret and like these things that make tokens, it could actually make these cards strong and aggressive. Like if you want to make deploy aggressive or the Karn's minus or Tezzeret's plus, any of those, Divine Visitation is how you can do it because make, having all of those very weak 1-1s one um, with Tezzeret and, and deploy and you know, Karn's minus is not reliable to be very big, even though it could be at times, theoretically, with these other artifacts. Uh, making those all 4-4 four, four angels, um, that can certainly over overwhelm oppo opponents and, and take over games and everything like that. So I think you kind of have to kind of have to pick your lane there. Um, yeah, I yeah you would you would definitely want three or four visitations in the main deck. Yeah, if you're if you're going with the visitation plan, you like it's your most important card. You need a lot you need a lot of them because you need this card kind of thing. So if you want to go bigger and if you want to play like deploy and that kind of stuff, you you have to be playing a bunch of divine visitations because that's how you can go over like wild growth walker. Um, as we saw like those other games like these these little one ones are just not ever going to beat a wild growth walker kind of thing. Um. So, yeah, there you go. So there, there's some. So yeah, you're welcome. Hey, Doc. So so that's some advice for the, for the deck uh, moving forward. Either either kind of go with that route, go divine visitation, and, and try to go really big, like that, or go real small and real aggressive. Um, a lot of white one drops, a Danto Vanguard, like in your two mana slot, and so on. So you can be ahead, and your opponent is pressing when you play War Boss History and reinforcements. That those cards can end the game. So. Um, there we go. All right, so that was good. Good little lesson learned here with Jeskai midrange. Didn't end up doing so well, um, but you know, kind of learned a little bit about uh, deck building, and you you want your cards to uh, complement each other. And the cards here in the deck are are unfortunately not complementing each other too well. All right, so that's it for Jeskai Midrange. Uh, gonna go ahead and go on to our next donation deck here. If you're watching this video later on on YouTube, uh, thanks for watching, and I uh, hope you hit the subscribe button over there. Uh, but for now, I'll see you for the next video.